solid, but watch what happens when you get it in your hand. So it's there, it looks like it's a solid. Now it's going to drip. It's going to turn into a liquid. Now as you're thinking about how you might use it for your students, kind of what ideas are you we, are coming to mind? Well, we thought that this one would be kind of fun for April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> but properties don't matter because it is so easy to see that it's a solid and then look at it drip. Because especially when you're going here. It started as a solid and then it turns into a liquid and then it goes back to a solid. And this is just amazing where it breaks like this and it looks really powdery. I mean, there's no time for kids to have to wait. That's what I'm thinking. For, well, for the age that yeah. we teach. We, we teach second grade. <laughs> so we have to make it in their terms. So, but, yeah. But properties of matter, this is excellent. It's pretty cool. And then we got this one. This is sewer slime. <laughs> It's really cool. I don't know what I would do with this. She said, I don't know. She said you could read the Flubber story or something and do it or something. Yeah. We don't really know, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I had a teacher who used this for Dr. Seuss's birthday, and they made the Flubber. Only it was green, and the kids had it everywhere. Ooblitz. Ooblitz, that's what it was. Yeah. Not Flubber. Yeah. But it's the same thing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We read a book in second grade too called Invention Convention, right? The Invention Convention, and that will work perfectly for that. All right.